You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Welcome back. It's Bloodborne. We are doing a minimum requirements run, aka a min wreck, but we will be max wrecked. Uh, <clears throat> the point of these runs is to pick a weapon, level up enough to use the weapon, and then never level up again. You you can only level up enough to use your weapon. So your starting class, you know, kind of kind of important, but not really. Who cares? Uh, Pack Wintergreen, welcome back. Thanks for eight months. Much appreciated. <clears throat> um. We, this run, we're going for the uh, Holy Moonlight Sword. This is going to be a, a huge pain in my whole butthole. Now, in order to get the weapon as quickly as possible, we have to defeat as few bosses as possible, right? Otherwise, what's the point? So, we, we have options here. We can, uh, we can either... We can either, um, Jesus, this is like so loud to me. I'll turn it down on my end. Maybe it's not loud to you guys. It's, it's, it's loud to me. I'm turning it down a little bit for me, not for you. <clears throat> All right, anyway. Uh, so what we can do is, uh, we can defeat Blood Starved Beast, uh, and sneak away, uh, sneak around, uh, through the Cathedral Ward and get into, uh, uh, Vicar Amelia's fight that way. Or we can defeat Cleric Beast and open the gate with 10,000 Blood Echoes. However, Blood Echoes are kind of important for buying Blood Vials for these kind of stupid runs. So, uh, <clears throat> we'll be doing Blood Starved Beast. So we're headed to Old Yarnum. And we're going to enjoy these beautiful PlayStation 5 slightly, ever so slightly, uh, faster loading screens. <laughs> Are we doing Funny Hat Gang? Of course. Got COVID for the last two. Ooh, wait, sorry. Hang on. Didn't you see the warning? I love his voice actor. It's so good. Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to be. I don't want to skip your dialogue, but hurry up. No harm to those of us. Turn back. For the hunter will face the hunt. <laughs> Oh, his voice actor is so good. It's so good. Uh, Joker, I'm sorry to hear you got COVID. I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Lothric Spartan, hello. Blunder, hello. So, uh, this is old Yarnum. And they, they literally just built Yarnum back up on top of, of, of old Yarnum. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, it's, it's, like, my, my metaphor here will never be great. Or maybe it will be great. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the sound effects down. Just a hair. Just, just a hair. But, uh, yeah. Basically... They they did the they did the blood. The doctors all got together and were like, "Hell yeah, let's let's do this blood, this blood rules." And so they did the blood, and uh, you can see the the hunter rune there. <clears throat> and they ruined the whole place. The whole place went to shit. Property values plummeted. It was terrible for the economy. Uh, these 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 poor old Yarnamites. All became beasts, and uh, they did. They did their first. Yarnum did their. No, I was gonna say Yarnum did their first genocide, but they didn't. This would be their third you genocide. You are skilled hunter, <laughs> adept, merciless, half cut with blood, as the best hunters are. Oh, I 
love the sun setting. It's beautiful. Which is why I must stop you. So good. It's so good. The story is so good. The characters are so good. This is such a great game. PlayStation, do the right thing for once in your life and bring this masterpiece into the 21st century, please. <laughs> Give us that beautiful 60 FPS. Stowe, welcome back. Thanks for 26 months. Nish Nars, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome back. 32 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I'm good, Sporkwad. Miss Saint had very minor back surgery. She's uh, recuperating nicely. Uh, she's doing well. Uh, thanks for asking before you asked. Um... Oh, they didn't kill you guys? But... Obviously, streaming, streaming kind of on the back burner uh, un until she gets, you know, well. But she's she's feeling very good. Uh, she had to get out of the house today. She just could not b deal with being cooped up. And she's... She's able to like move around, so uh, she's gonna go visit with uh, her 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 mom and her family, um, which gives me a little time to stream a little something something. Uh, Final Fantasy XII, obviously, kind of on the back burner until uh, Miss Saint is out of the house because it's a pain in the ass to stream when someone's in the room here with you, just from a logistics standpoint, because she likes to like watch murder mystery documentaries on her phone and stuff. And when I play Final Fantasy XII, like, I want to be able to play it for huge chunks of time. Um, yeah. So, I just thought, well, this would be a good time to do a Bloodborne run. You know? Just a good time to do a Bloodborne run. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And, uh, and I hope you panic. Welcome back. Thanks for three months in a row. Enjoy your new, uh, sub badge. Much appreciated. So, anywho... They, uh, the Yarnum people, they sent the hunters out to, to blow up their own people. And the people they sent out, they called the powder keggers, I think. Woo! Ah! Uh-oh. have to refresh my memory a little bit on the lore. Um, but essentially, these, uh, these homies came here and they burned the place down. They burned down their own, their own place. And, uh, some of them, after doing said burning, had some, some remorse, some remorse about it can believe that. They were like, what the hell did we just do? Because these aren't just mindless beasts. They're, they're people. They used to be people. And we came down here and we, 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 we wrecked their shit. So, three fellas got together and decided they would protect old Yarnum. They would protect old Yarnum. It's like uh, it's like it's like when John Rambo uh, decides he's gonna protect Vietnam or whatever, right? <laughs> it's like that. Chat, going off with the subs and stuff. Give me just a minute to say thank you, but I gotta kill this guy first. Now there's there's three of these fellas, right? But we only, uh... Ow. We only see two of them. Until we get to the DLC. And then we meet the third one. How dare you heal? 
dishonest. Uh oh, I thought that was my blunderbuss. an honest saw fight going on over here, chat. Ow. For sure I could win that trade. Alright, chat going absolutely ham. What is going on here? Uh, uh, Lonely Chiro with the prime sub. Thank you for 11 months. Uh, hope your missus recovers quickly. Enjoy these Bezos bucks. Thank you, Lonely Chiro. Postmodern, welcome back. Thanks for 10 months. Florida man murders town of people he deems too ugly to live. <laughs> welcome back. Thanks for 10 months. Jared228, welcome back. Thanks for 3 months. Very much appreciated. I dislike Jiro because he acts like he is special for telling you the exact same thing Eileen tells you. Yeah, but they're different. Because, because, uh, you know, Jiro feels so motivated by his actions that, that he actually goes and, like, protects old Yarnum, which is, which is pretty crazy. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a badass dude. Eileen, on the other hand, um, it's interesting now that you mention that, it's funny it's funny that the two people who are aware that that the player character Hunter is is experiencing the dream, it's it's weird that both of them have uh, relegated themselves to hunting humans. That's I, I, and I'd never thought about that until you mentioned the thing that you mentioned. Also, Draco with five gift subs to Theris. Artronov, Jason Shar, Metro Shift, Lettuce Prime. All of you welcome and welcome back. Draco, thank you so much. Little Yakobo with the gift sub to Mortarios, welcome back. Little Yakobo, thank you. And the Prime sub from Yakobo. 20 months, 7 in a row, thank you so much. Ewan, thank you for the Prime sub. 4 months, 3 in a row. Much love, Duder. Please get well soon. Please to your partner, and I hope things are aren't stressing you out. They are not stressing us out. We're doing good. Thank you very much, you and I appreciate it. Y'all are crazy. Thank you so much, Chet. Ow. Of course, the game has told us, we've already looked at the item descriptions, the game has told us that beasts fear fire. This fella here doesn't want to show off game, there, look at him, show off the game mechanics. Show off the game mechanics, what are you doing? Hey, that's not game mechanics. The ones with the, the hood over their face, they don't care. They're, they've, 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 they've adapted. They've, they've put hoods over their faces so that they don't see it. But the other ones, they're supposed to act like they're afeard of the, of the fire. But they're, but they're not acting like it. They're just being jerks. They're just being absolute jerks. Grabbed a rifle spear. And we're going to get some armor up here, as well as some lore. Woo! The red moon hangs low, and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? So... 
that kind of that ah uh, I, I I don't know if I've never pieced it together before or if I've pieced it together before and forgot but the blood moon the blood moon was the catalyst the blood moon was the catalyst for all of these people going absolutely bananas and turning into full-blown beasts which we will see again later and it's almost like it's almost like the idea of cooking up like an anti uh oh an anti blood moon thing that 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 kind of that kind of puts a time frame on on old yarnum old yarnum had to have existed Old Yarnum had to have existed in the time of, of Bergenworth. Because Rom Rom was created by Willem to stop the Blood Moon. And that's probably why. That's no, that's absolutely why. That's why. Uh That's why the Forbidden Woods is blocked off. So no one so no one messes with that. Chat, damn. Thank you for the 100 bits, Epi. Much appreciated. Pinko with 5 gift subs. Thank you so much, Pinko. Good lord. Chocomel Days, Remy Urms, Dante, Snuts, Fat Dratini. Enjoy your emotes and welcome. And Pinko, thank you so much. Charred Hunter Garb, a product of the scourge of the beast that once plagued Old Yarnum and culminated in the town's fiery cleansing. The cape's dampness makes it highly resistant to fire. Wearers of this attire hunted down the victims of the scourge, who survived the raging flames and stench of singed blood. Uh, we also get some lore on the antidote, uh, the medicinal pellets. Used to treat ashen blood, the baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The Ashen Blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the Beastly Scourge. Um, so it's a bit like one of those... The, the Ashen Blood is, is literally a poison. And it's like once the poison reaches max... Um, Once, once the poison reaches max, your body is unable to fight off uh, the the scourge of beasts. Trying to make this jump. Ah! Nope. <laughs> Sinner ship! Three months in a row. Much appreciated. You rock. Don't ever change. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. I, I should have I should have taken my time when I came down here. You can hear a strange noise when you first come down here. It's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. And it's the beasts. And they're chanting. They are religiously celebrating... Um, this blood-starved beast that has been crucified. And then we hit an oil container that was trapped up top. It fell down and it ignited a fire. And it stopped the beasts from singing and sort of ruined their church service. And now they're mad. So we can come in here and we can throw a pungent blood cocktail into the fire. And uh, they'll chase after it and burn themselves up.
And there's an interesting little side note over... Not here, but I'll get to it. This fella over here, uh, like, he never, he never aggros. He's just constantly afraid of you. This is a thing that happens a few times in the game, where there, there will be, like, a huge pile of monsters, and one of them is not aggressive. Uh, it's, it's a recurring theme, uh, that we see. Uh, there's a bird in Hemwick that acts the same way. Uh, you can't, it, it's less animated, obviously, because it's, it's, it's less human. Um, um, it's a bird, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, the same the same thing. There's like all these aggressive birds, and then there's like this one that's just like, hey man, I got nothing against you. <laughs> so are the beasts kind of like hollows? Yeah, kinda. Except except uh, more human. Like they're not mindless. You know, they're just they're just they're different now. Which was the whole point. Of of Lawrence's school of thought, Lawrence's entire school of thought was that they could use the blood uh, of of a great one uh, to like move human evolution forward. But it's it's actually moving human evolution backwards. The game is kind of shows us. Uh, Ow. The, the allegory. There are two runes in the game. Uh, clockwise metamorphosis and anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis, sort of like going backwards, um, is responsible for beastly transformation. Whereas clockwise metamorphosis, sort of more uh, enlightened transformation where we see things turn into brain suckers and celestial emissaries and things like this. So it's 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 not it's not so much that they're hollow because they're mindless. It is sort of like it has become like a sort of uh uh state of being. But the difference is is it took 3 Dark Souls games before they finally were just like, "Oh yeah, uh by the way, hollows are not monsters. They're like real people with feelings and stuff." <laughs> You, you've, you've been walking around murdering these dudes for, like, three games, and we're, we're not going to tell you until the third game that, like, yeah, it turns out that, uh, you know, they, they, <laughs> they're still very much sentient. You've, you're just a monster. Hey, what's up, Flotsy? How long do you think the current infection in Yarnum's been going for? Cut content and plaza's been going for decades or even a century as per the Woods Guard. Yeah. I don't think we're supposed to know. Um, every like, like obviously, we can we can like hypothesize or whatever, but I don't think we're supposed to have like a, an answer. And I think it's one of those things where that not having an answer is part of the the story. You know what I mean? Um, I I personally like the idea that this is just a very busy night. <laughs> <laughs> um, it gives it gives the game a, a very like fast, um, you know, pace, which which works well with the game mechanics, the combat. You know, everything's popping off all at once. Ow. Would you stop it? I have a torch! It's a torch! Go away! It's fire! You hate it! You can't stand it! Nadowski, hello. Oh no! Chat, I apologize. My internet is being bad, so the stream looks all super pixelated and stuff, and that sucks. 
Comcast really likes to uh, Comcast really likes to to take it to me. They really like pounding on my on my metaphorical butt on Saturdays. They love it. They can't get enough. Here, I'll open up a menu. There you go. Now that will make the pixels that will make the pixels better because there's less pixels on the screen now. So now 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 it'll look like the stream's not so bad. It still is bad. Just I'm not moving, so nothing's happening. And there's no like fire dancing across the screen or anything. No Saint, there is a set timeline. I huffed paint out of a bag and checked my email, and Miyazaki had finally responded to my messages. His response contained the entire story of the game. I just need funding to make a YouTube video on it. Please donate and subscribe. I feel bad for Lawrence. He wanted to help people, but most of us think he is a bad guy. Well, it's it's not so much that like this is this is classic fiction. Like you know, the the heroes, the tragic heroes, are always undone by their own uh, ambition. Right? That's 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 like classic literature. You're undone by your own ambition. You you flew too close to the sun. You shouldn't have made that monster, Doctor Frankenstein. Uh, etc. etc. You shouldn't try and sell castle insurance in Romania, Jonathan Harker, or whatever. You know, like it's a uh, it's just a classic, and it's you know it's it's just the tale. It's just the story. Uh, the, the, the the tragic hero undone by their own ambition. Um, is Lawrence a bad guy? Yeah. Is he is he a bad guy that we can understand? Yeah. Does that make him less of a shithead? No. Was he also an idiot? Absolutely. He's not malicious, but he does possess too much hubris. No, he's absolutely malicious. He's absolutely malicious. Like y'all are y'all are willing to give Lawrence a pass for for the research hall and for the genocide of the fishing hamlet and and like the dude sucks. Okay, Lawrence sucks. <laughs> he's not he's not good. He's not good, folks. But you know what what good is a villain that you can't. You know, like, who who doesn't want to be a cool super beast? You know what I mean? Rob Zombie uh, sold millions of records talking about it. The, the you know, it's, it's one of those ends justifies the means. Does it? No, of course not. He's terrible. He's an awful human being. But he's an awful under being, he's an awful human being that we can understand. That's what makes a villain good. It's like Gwyn. You see, you see all these Gwyn apologists, and it's like, nah, man, the the dude, the dude literally kept human beings like enslaved and 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 uh, and and hid the the very nature of their power, and then convinced them all to kill each other in order to keep his bullshit status quo afloat. Gwyn sucks. He's not a good guy. He's just a guy you can understand. <laughs> There's a difference between like. You're, we're not so different, Mr. Captain Picard. In another lifetime, I could have called you friend. That's a different villain from, like, the guy who does literal genocide. Nobody's, hopefully, in the future, gonna be like, Well, Adolf Hitler was just a tragic, uh, misunderstood figure. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you lived in fucking Germany at the time, and you were like, I just want my country to be good. Sure. Does that mean what he did was good? Of course not! <laughs> He's a fucking monster! <laughs> hey, what's up, Toothless? Was Vendrick a bad guy? That's an interesting one. Um, I don't think so. Vendrick was, was an absolute, like, conqueror. But he was a conqueror of kingdoms that may have already been dead. Um, or at least undead. 
but that's like every kingdom that he conquered was formerly a kingdom of conquerors. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure. And then, and then, Vendrick meets this very lovely, uh, this very lovely lady who tells him that the giants are a threat, and he's so enamored with her that he he just buys it immediately, no questions asked. He's like, "Yeah, the giants do want to kill me, I bet." And so he goes over there and he and he and he and he crushes the giants. Now, keep in mind that his 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 uh his beloved is absolutely using him for this. Should Vendrick have been able to have seen through that? Maybe, but she's obviously magic. <laughs> like she's magic. So like it's 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 way more gray with Vendrick. It's way 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 more gray with Vendrick. So he goes over there, he starts shit with the giants, the giants come back, start some shit on this side of it, and when Vendrick finally snaps out of it and realizes that he's being used, he goes to great lengths to stop Nishandra from doing what she wants to do, and then hopes that we're able to piece together all of the puzzle uh, with, with, with him locked up. Now, as a video game, it's impossible for us to not piece the, the, you know, like, to piece it together. But as, as, as people experiencing the game, um, you do have to sort of dig in deep to, to find the answer. Uh, and that's really cool. That's really cool. Vendrick's a good one. Vendrick, Vendrick is, Vendrick is a lot... Dark Souls 2 in general is, is so much better when it's not trying to do anything related to Dark Souls. When it's just telling its own story, Dark Souls 2 is so good. Yeah, yeah, I like Vendrick. That's, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, because that's a fun one. That's a fun one to think about. Who's your favorite shard of Manus? I like the one that got with um, the Ivory King because she she was like, no, I really liked him. <laughs> She's sweet. She's so sweet. I love her. Like, it, it it's kind of <laughs> it's one of those things where you're playing through Dark Souls two, and all these women are evil. And you're like, you're giving Tanimura the side eye. Like, who hurt you, you red pilled loser? <laughs> and then, and then you get to the Iron, or then you get to the Ivory King, and you're like, oh, okay, that's that's sweet. You're you're sweet. Astraeus BCE, thank you. Welcome back for 11 months. Very much appreciated. I'm trying to get caught up on chat here. You guys, you guys got me. You guys got me talking. Y'all got me going. So do you consider Lawrence to be a bit like Artorius? No, because Artorius was like Lawrence is. Lawrence is absolutely the Gwyn of Dark Souls. He's absolutely like the main guy. Um. And then, he, and, and, like, if you want an Artorius figure in Bloodborne, you're looking at, like, Ludwig or maybe, uh, or maybe Lady Maria. Like, the sword arm of, like, the, there's, you've got Lawrence, and then you've got, like, the four knights of Gwyn. You've got, uh, you've got Ludwig, Maria, German, and, uh, you know, maybe somebody else, I don't know. All right, it's it's the blood starved beast. We're gonna we're gonna walk left and hope that he doesn't phase through walls. But that's it, that's it. You just walk left, and this is 
the scrub dojo for Blood Starved Beast. You just, you lock on to him, and then you circle around to his left. And you hope that he doesn't phase through a wall. That's that's it. That's the fight. If you want to, you can uh, you can put your antidotes right here in case he poisons you. He's got three attacks. He's got a, a clothesline, a flail, and a and a big uh, and a and a big smash. The big smash we can punish with a backstab. The flail you can punish with the backstab. It's a little more difficult, but not insane. The clothesline you just kind of let it happen. Ow. We try and keep him away from the walls. So he's not like phasing into him, because that's annoying as shit. At a certain point, he's sort of like poisoned by association. You can swap armor here and put some armor on that's that's more poison resistant, but you can also just like not get poisoned. Really great music. Uh, and this is, uh, this is, this is the church of the old chalice. This was where the, the people used to come to the old Thumerian chalice and probably partook in communion. Uh, and we see here that, like, the beastie dudes, um, are almost sort of revered and memorialized via these statues. Um, almost like it was, yeah, like the closer you are to beasthood, uh, you know, the, the, the more holy you are type thing. And then there was just a line that the Yarnamites were not willing to cross where you just became a beast. And apparently that triggered it. That was it. They were like, nope, burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to get us access to swoop around in Yarnum. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, next. Thanks for watching Bloodborne. This is going up on YouTube. So, uh, I've got a cool playthrough of Dark Souls 3, a Sekiro playthrough on YouTube. So I thought, hey, let's get one of uh, Bloodborne and uh, let's make it a silly challenge run so YouTube can see what that's like when I do these stupid runs to myself and suffer greatly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to split up the VOD right here. And um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys watching and thanks for hanging out.